All right, today we are talking about Smite, which is on PlayStation 4, it's on it's Nintendo Switch, it's on Xbox One, and I played it on PC. First of all, let me get out of the way. This video is sponsored by Hi Res Studios. Thank you once again to Hi Res Studios for that. Uh, Smite is a game that so far I have played it probably about 50 to 60 hours, and I actually love the game. You were telling me you played it a lot back in the day. So, I only recently started playing So yeah, when, when Smite first came out, I was really kind of on a MOBA kick. And I'm like, oh wow, this one's 3D, this one's third person, this one isn't like, you know, the classic like RTS style. Right. That's kind of cool. And it's crazy to think that a game that, you know, you know has been around for so long is still being updated still and stuff to it. people still care about it. And speaking of them still updating it, they just added the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and that's why we're doing this. Uh, so they added Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and also Shredder and Splinter. And not only are there skins for each of the turtles, but they have two skins, actually. One is sort of like a m little bit more of a modern turtle look, I guess. And then they have the classic 80s Ninja Turtle look. And guess what? I like the classic 80s Ninja Turtles. Imagine Turtle. that. Yeah, imagine he that. likes that one. But, you know, all that said, though, I played all the Turtles. The one I actually ended up really liking was Splinter. Splinter is originally Hachiman in the game. And I like the way that Hachiman controls... And so I, it's, I'm not saying that I necessarily like Splinter because it's Master Splinter. I like it because of, out of the turtle characters, he was my favorite. What's cool about Master Splinter is he's a ranged character because you'll see if you take a look at this that he has a bow and arrow. And I was like, I don't remember the bow and arrow. Wait a second. Well, remember the toys? It was from exactly. the toy. So they, so they took it yeah. from the toy. So he's so he has he's a ranged bow, which is great because there are uh, minions continually coming at you, these little guys, and you can kind of like pick them off from a distance. And he, Splinter's on top of the turtle van with the bow and arrow, and he gets like a giant bow and arrow, and then he like he he fires it like at enemies, and which will like take a lot of their damage away from them. But I will say this: all the characters look really like per like fantastic. Like the the anime the job they did on the animation is like it couldn't be better. Yeah, I mean, that's that's one of the things I'm afraid of when you see, like, these partnerships between, like, like Ninja Turtles, like, like what does Ninja Turtles have to do with Smite? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's really important that they do the Ninja Turtle part well for the fans, for the people who are looking for that, and not just have it just be, like, a skin tacked on. They and it sounds like yeah. they thought it they out. They thought a lot about which, because they have 100 characters. They thought a lot about, okay, which one would be which. The character that they use the skin for Shredder, he's basically like only does like punches and kicks and stuff. But that's pretty much what you would imagine with Shredder is that he would be like using his like blades. So the mode I like to play more so uh, is the three versus three uh, sort of tower, um, the tower arena, whatever they call it. There was a couple of things that you talked about that I think are are really important. And the, and the first one was you were saying, oh, I really like ranged characters because when I'm when I'm fighting the uh, enemies that are approaching through the lanes, um, being able to pick them off at a distance is, is, is good. Mm -hmm. um, MOBAs, you know, there's a lot of conventions. It's, it's like a whole genre, just like platformer, first-person shooter. There's a lot of things that are similar with games in the genre. And, you know, being able to protect a lane, to protect your towers and things like that, something that is, is pretty much universal for all MOBAs. There's also the idea of there being resource management and, and leveling and things like that. Yeah. So, you know, if, if you die a bunch, you're really not helping out your team in a MOBA because no. you are giving the other team resources that allow them to buy things and get levels yeah. and new skills. And if you don't preserve yourself and and keep away you're you're gonna end up fighting enemies that you can't beat definitely if you're communicating with your team and your opponents are just doing whatever doing whatever on their own you're gonna stomp them mm -hmm. because this is a game about teamwork it's playing on a team it's like a team sport yeah. basically if you and, and the people you're playing with you share the power-ups you level up appropriately you don't make stupid 
you don't take stupid chances that cause you to die, you're gonna succeed. Exactly. So while it's awesome to, to be a badass and and do you know your ultimate and do all your moves and take out the opponent, it's it's also really important in this game to play smart and you know do the right thing. You can be a badass, but you have to work with your team. I was a bit a little bit overwhelmed. It takes a little while to get used to it, but the thing that I found that helped me the most, well, the first time you play the game, you have to do kind of everything manually. And that makes things harder because as you're trying to play the game, you're shopping for all the different uh, upgrades that you can get. There's a lot of stuff to get and that can get really overwhelming. So if you set it up beforehand where you make your own little custom page of what items are the best ones to get, that way when you're playing the game, you have like the couple items that you know you need that are, that are the really good items and that really brings brings down that difficulty. I, I feel like one of the biggest pitfalls that a, a lot of new players have with, with MOBAs in general is like, what do I buy? What skills do I get? How do, how do I do all of that? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's tough because if you have a build that is bad... You're fucked. you're you're just dead. You're just dead. Like like it's like why why even bother? But the fact that you can sit in the in the menus before you get in and kind of plan it all out and like research online and like figure out exactly what you want to have, that's really good. I researched online by the way. There was no way I was going to I guess you could, if you play long enough, you can figure it out on your own. I still move it around here and there. Sometimes I'll be in a match and I'll find out I, I we're losing, so I switch things up a little yeah. bit. Like you can sell back some of your items and like buy other things, but you don't have to learn everything in game either. They do have a practice mode where you can go in, and there's all sorts of uh, like practice things that you can do to to sort of like get yourself used to how to play the game, so that you're not in the middle of playing real people and just feeling like overwhelmed. So I definitely re recommend if you're going to play this game for the first time to spend some time in, in the practice and just mess around with characters. I played maybe I say like 12 characters. I've put some time into playing, but still my my favorite has been Thanatos because I, I do want to talk about the thing that I really like about him. When you're attacking another player and their energy gets low. What happens with him is a skull will come up on, on the on the enemy. That's when you like launch your uh, ultimate attack. He he flies up into the air, and then a circle like will appear on them, and you can just literally come down on them and just kill them outright. If you get that kill and you have the correct upgrade, you will also get a shield around you. They're low on energy. They have the skull on them. They're like, I'm going to die. I'm going to start running back to my base. You fly up in the air. You come down. You kill them. You get that kill. But when you also have the ability to get that shield, now you're in enemy territory, but you have that shield, which gives you enough to get out. I, I love that character. It's yeah. so much fun. I mean, I mean, you know what's funny? I picked him, too. Like, yeah. like, like I, when I play the character... That you know, I love Thanatos. He's a god of death. What's not to love? His, <laughs> yeah. his ultimate is kill him. Yeah, <laughs> you know, basically. Um, uh, th there's there's really not much negative to say about it. I'm gonna get him. Got him. Drop. Got him. Got him. Got him. Dead. Got him. Got him. And I'm running. Got it. Got him. Yes. Got him. Got him. Oh. Yeah! Double execute. Even though I put like 40, 50 hours into it, this is a game that people play for like 20,000 yeah. hours, you know? I play it on PC for the most part, and it does have cross-play. Another friend that I play with actually uh, does it on uh, Xbox One, and I'm playing on PC, and that it works flawlessly. So if, if you only have console, you can you can do that that way. What, one of the things that really attracted me to Smite was the fact that I wasn't using a mouse and keyboard. I could use the controller and not have to deal with a lot of the hang on things from RTSs. Mm -hmm. So when I got to play it more like a console game and less like a uh, PC game, it, 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 it was it, it was good. Yeah, it's interesting. Like when I play a lot of like modern. Um, first-person shooter games, it's like, I feel like you're at a severe disadvantage if you're not playing with mouse and keyboard. Yeah. Um, I mean, people can get good with a controller, but for, for me, I feel like I can shoot faster if I have, like, a mouse. Um, so, for this, 
it was surprising to me that it's as good as it is. It's like perfect to play with a controller. So, so when you first start playing this game, uh, you know, you're going to be going through different characters and trying out different guys. You, you might be like, oh, I know Hercules, I'll try him, or I recognize like this certain god and stuff like that. As you're playing it, I mentioned that there's a practice mode, but there's also... Um, like you can play versus a computer. When I first started playing, I put it on easy and was just playing bots. I actually recommend doing that to start before you go jumping into like fighting real people. Cause there's a lot to get and it's better if you figure it out when you're going against bots. When you're beginning the game and you're trying out different characters, uh, you once you find one you kind of like, you should stick with them for a good amount of time, I'd say. Uh, I had a couple characters early on where I'd be like, okay, I'm going to stick with like two characters, and then eventually I, it just became Thanatos after right. a while. But uh, you know, a lot of people get really good with other characters. That was just the character that I ended up being comfortable with. Yeah, I, I, I think learning the characters is, is super important, and it takes time, because you got to know what their build is. you got to know what all their abilities are. you got to know what their role is. Um, knowing where you fit and knowing how to do your buys and how to do your skills is what makes it fun to play a character. Exactly, because you can go running in a little bit if you're a tank character, but if you're somebody else, you, you like exactly, you need to know your role. Yeah. yeah. So uh, playing for a while and getting used to a character when you start is, is a good idea. And what's also good about that is you're going to learn whether or not that that's the character for, for you. If you're playing it and you just you keep losing or you're not having fun, you, that's when you try another character. So... As you're getting further in the game, now you've learned your character, and uh, you're playing with friends. When you set up with a friend, you don't want to be, like, mismatched. So, like, if I was a healer, I wouldn't want Ryan to be a healer. Or if I was a tank, I don't want Ryan to be a tank. Like, you've got to have a good team setup. Yeah, par party setup is the team, party setup, everything is really important. Because if you got, you know, a really damaging character, and then you got a healer with them, and the healer's keeping them up, and you're... You know, you could defeat things that you couldn't dream of if you were just two offensive characters by yourself. When I first started playing the game, I, I was frustrated, and I'm not going to lie, for a while. I just You just get blown out in the beginning because you're learning how to play. You have to play for a while, but once you start playing real people and you actually start winning after a while, like, I found this, obviously I played a lot of hours and I put, intend to keep playing it. I actually found find this game to be very addicting. Like, right. I, I, like, just keep coming back to it. Um, and I, I don't, I haven't quite figured out why I get so addicted to this game. I mean, it's, it's interesting, like, the, the MOBA genre kind of hits all the things. There's lots of skins, there's lots of, like, competition, yeah. there's victory, there's lots of progress bars and things just that are going. Things, it's yeah. all the things, and it's like... I guess it's just very, like, rewarding and satisfying. For many people... This is video games. Right. It's not like they play, like, a variety of games, you know. There are people, like, streamers even. There are people, they just stream they only Smite. Play, yeah. That's it. So, back to the turtle stuff. If you're going to try getting the turtle stuff, there it's called a battle pass. It's available, I believe, for three months. So, it starts out, and they give you, like, Leonardo. And then you get to the second thing, and it's, like, kind of, like, little, like, icon or something like that. They give you these little trophies and things. They give you these little awards. So you're moving along this track, and as you go, you're gradually unlocking all the, all the turtle stuff. Or you can just buy the characters outright. So one of the things you can do is unlock some of the voices for the turtles. Yeah. And I do want to say that, that I think they did a good job on that. Whoa! Total wipeout! All the turtle stuff is, like, is top-notch. Like, I love the way they look. The voices all sound good. Um, like, it's great. I just wish that, I wish they had more. So I'm hoping that coming down the line, they will release more turtle content. Like, I really like to see Krang and Bebop and Rocksteady and stuff like that. So hopefully they do more. Yeah, that, that'd be good. There's just so many characters in Ninja Turtles. Like, everybody, you know, has a favorite. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, I was happy to take another look at Smite after being away for so long. It was cool that they combined, you know, something that I had a lot of fun with in, like, uh, third-person MOBA with the Ninja Turtles, mm -hmm. which we both like. Yeah. And then you found, like, a new game. Really? Yeah, I did. I, did. You know? like, I, I, I had no idea that, I, um, you know, I, I've been looking for, a, a, like, a game like this, but this one has a lot of the right aspects to it that is going to actually keep me coming back. 
you know, from, from time to time. Uh, so I'm glad that I found a game that I could stream. I streamed this for a while, and a lot of people, like, I guess because this game has been around for a while, a lot of people have already pl- had played it before I had, and were kind of into the fact that I was playing it. And people seem to like this game, and I, I like it. I don't really have anything negative to say about it. It's just, it's fun. Um, it sucks when you, it sucks when you get a, a, somebody, sh- a shitty person on your team, but that's a problem with the people. Yeah. Not it's, the it's, it's, a, it's also, it's also good that this game is free to play and you can download it on any console. So right now you could just go play Smite and you don't have to pay a dollar. Yeah. And then if you like it, you know, there's all the new turtle stuff. And you know, if you're watching this channel, you probably like that. Right. <laughs> you know? and, and there's, and there's a hundred characters like in there to choose from. Yeah. So it's like, it's just like endlessly like stuff to do. And yeah. Yeah. so definitely thanks to high risk studios for sponsoring this and uh, check out smite.